in the movies they had a monster that had pegs in his neck, a big guy, green fellow that uh, walked like such, his hands out in front of his face sometimes and walked at a snail's pace and sometimes he still tracked down people regardless of this slow movement. 1930s or maybe it was the 20s or the 40s or whatever it was, this movie was made. Inside of this movie, I did it myself, but all of us considered the monster, the green guy with the, with the pongs and the pegs in his neck, kind of like, uh, you know, the video games that you play back in the day, and trying to stop the little pinball from coming. Anyway, they go, uh, this guy here, we thought his name was Frankenstein. But Frankenstein actually was the guy who had the lab coat on, the scientist slash doctor slash guy who did all of the creations. The guy that said, he's alive, he's alive. That guy is actually Frankenstein. And I'm not sure, but maybe it's pronounced Frankenstein. So, could be Frankenstein. Somebody might say, um, Motel Granite, why are you telling us about Frankenstein or Frankenstein? It's simple, because he was the inventor of a monster. And there's a correlation. You take us from, let's say, 1930s, maybe the rolling 20s, to the Depression through the 30s or did you guys know that Franklin Delano Roosevelt served three terms as president? He's the only person, well, anyway, I am branched off of something different. It took me back to that time. Franklin Delano Roosevelt, who was paralyzed or some type of handicap, um, he invented a fireside type of thing for a radio podcast to try to tell people about the war. It's pretty cool. But I branched off. That's another Frankenstein story. But anyway... Frankenstein, the creator of the monster, uh, this guy, was in the 30s, in like 2000 and something or whatever I meant. You can see me as the modern day Frankenstein, a modern day Frankenstein. Um, so the people from the year 3000 plus 4000, if these years ever exist at some point, those individuals can look back and say, man, Motel Grattan was Frankenstein. What do I do as Frankenstein? I've been told by a great young man, 22 years old, and um, he's sharp as a tack, and I wish him the best on everything that he does and his promotions in life. Very positive, spunky, super high-powered young man. Um, 22, like I said. And um, I'm going to give a shout out to the university, uh, Akron grad. So shout out to the Zips. So this young man, uh, he gave me confidence. And he gives me confidence. He said, you know what? When you talk to me, you speak highly and respectful. And you have me run through a wall. And so as I looked at other young men, you know, that I did the uh, videos and things with, if you scroll through my history, but you got to check out Cold Crown, K-O-L-D, Crown, K-R-O-W-N. You got to subscribe, click the red button, and if you click on some of the likes, whatever, then some of the stuff will kick back up, so you guys get a chance to get this footage. This is Frankenstein clips right now. This is about Frankenstein. I got a one-track man a lot of times when I'm doing what I need to do. I just branch off. But this is about Frankenstein and being a monster and creating a monster. I create monsters. I got a lot of young people that are empowered because of my voice. <clears throat> Thank God for no laryngitis, but that I'm capable of spitting words out of my mouth that come through my brain or either my heart or sometimes my behind. But I apologize for the ones that come from that territory down below. Hopefully I can come from things that are positive and, and don't look at me, but just see me as the messenger and understand 
that um, that God is that power. But anyway, Frankenstein. So as a creator, the monster creator. So I have a lot of young people and some middle-aged people and some older people who are influenced by my words. So I want to call myself Frankenstein today. <laughs>